We're live on Facebook. We're live on Twitter. And we're live on YouTube right now. And um, if you've never joined my live broadcast before, hello. My name is Jason from septictank.co.uk. Um, I've been doing septic tanks for 20 years. Um, and there's my site, septictank.co.uk. So getting straight into the broadcast now. Whether you're looking for a septic tank, maybe um, you don't know much about septic tanks. One of the most popular questions I get asked is this. What is a septic tank? <clears throat> Excuse me. So I thought on this one, what I would do is answer that. So what is a septic tank and soak away? Now, probably a lot of uh, seasoned veterans in the septic tank industry out there, but this is for people who really don't know what a septic tank or soak away are. Those are the most of the people that we deal with every day. So let's get straight in with this. So let's have a look here. So let me just turn that blue line off. There we go. All right, so here's a house. And here's the lawn. And you'll notice in this little area, you've got a lid. And you've got an inspection chamber lid there. So let me just take the grass off here. But look at that. And if I move out now, wow. Okay. So here you've got a septic tank and soak away. Okay. So this thing here, this white thing, that is the septic tank. This is an onion shaped septic tank. OK, that's an onion shaped septic tank. And um, if you look here, it's got a pipe coming from here. So all the liquid that leaves your property from your dishwasher, um, <clears throat> your sink, your washing machine, your bath, your bidet, your shower, whatever it is, it comes out from your house and it comes down this pipe here. And it goes into the septic tank. So let me show you what's going on inside the tank. So let's take the half off. Oh, let's take the half off. OK, so that's the tank off. So let's put some water in there now. Uh, so it will look something like that. So that is what it looks like. So all the wastewater will leave your property and it will enter into the septic tank. OK, and that's typically how they work. Now, once it's done that, it will then make its way from the septic tank and it makes its way through this pipe here, which is called an outlet pipe. All right. Now, you'll notice that here is a strange configuration of looking pipes. This is called a herringbone soak away design all right there's loads of different soak away designs out there you can get soak away pits you can get soak away septic tanks soak away crates we're just looking at a traditional soak away here this is the septic tank soak away pipes and um you'll notice that it's on a gravel bed and each one of these pipes is perforated right so all the liquid will leave the septic tank all the solids and all the debris will fall to the bottom of the tank. Let's see if I can just take that lid off. Uh, I don't know if I can. I was going to show you a bit. Never mind. All right. So all the debris falls to the bottom of the tank. And then the liquid makes its way into the soak away. All right. And when it goes into the soak away, it should look something like, ba -da! it should look like something like that. So there you go. That is a septic tank and soak away working as it should do. All the liquid is uh, dispersed through millions and millions of perforated pipes in the, um, in the herringbone design here. The liquid then makes its way onto the gravel bed and then it just soaks away into the soil. And so when it soaks away, it'll look something like that. Or, in fact, it won't look like anything because all the water will have disappeared. So that is how uh, they used to do septic tank soakaways. Some people still do it like that. Um, you know, it depends, really does depend on the lay of the land and, um, you know, how well the water will drain away it depends on the size of the soakaway. So that's a traditional soakaway. So that's how a septic tank and soakaway work. Now, I just want to show you. 
one more thing here. Uh, let's have a look here. Is that the one I just looked at? I think it is. So let me just turn it down here. All right. All right. So here's another form of septic tank and soak away. So let me just uh, put that in to there. There we go. All right. So here you've got a low profile septic tank. Now you'll notice that the outlet on this septic tank is a lot shallower than the onion shaped septic tank, which means you can install the soak away a lot nearer the grass, which is great, you know, because um, if it's in the topsoil, then 99.9% .9 of the times it's just going to drain away beautifully. You've got the ideal conditions. Now, this particular product we're looking at here is one of my favorite. It's called Easy Drain, and it's called Easy Drain because it's really, really, really easy to install. So let me show you. All right, so bam. Or instead of having a big surface area, so instead of having a big surface area like, uh, let me just see if we can show you, show you here. Instead of having a massive surface area like that and covering it all with soil, you don't need that, right? All you need to do is dig three trenches like so. All right, it's as simple as that. Three medium sized trenches like that. Then on the outlet pipe here, you put something called a German silt chamber. So basically, all the wastewater will still enter into the pipe here. And if there's any sanitary towels or baby wipes or nappies, they'll get stuck in here and you can just lift the lid up and take them out. But the beauty about Easy Drain is that it's a gravel free type of soak away. So you literally just put three fingers in, just like so. There's one finger, there's two fingers. The three fingers, look at that. It's as simple as that. And then when you've done that, you just can add additional fingers as required. So uh, this is typically for um, a three to four bedroom property. So the liquid goes into the septic tank. It then enters the um, silt chamber there. And then watch this. And then we can find the water here. Where's the water? Did I put the water on, on here? Um, oh, yes, there we go. There's the water. So the water then enters the uh, easy drain pipes and it just drains away naturally into the soil. So it's fantastic. It really, really is. So let's see if I can give you, um, I can show you what this water looks like. Okay, so there you go. There you can see it a bit clearer now. So the water literally leaves the septic tank drains into the soak away trenches there and then as it makes its way down there it then just naturally drains away back into the soil and so that is the miracle of easy drain and um it's just absolutely amazing amazing stuff as i said it's really it's called easy drain because it it, it just takes flipping egg it just takes an hour or so to install. Um, you don't need any gravel. So compared to like a herringbone system, this type of soak away system will save you hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Not only will you be able to do it in a couple of hours, but compared to the old traditional method, you'll save a lot of money and time doing it. So let me just cover that over for you. So there you go. So once you've put your soak away in there, you won't even know that you've got one. So there, that is the difference between the um, old, let's just take the grass off here. There you go. So they, and let's just put the onion tank half on. So there you go. So just coming back to refresh your memory. So this is typically what a septic tank and soak away looks like. Um, and so, the soak away here is the most important part of the septic tank and soak away, because unless the water soaks away, then it just becomes like a sealed cesspit. And it can cost you like 100, 200, 300 quid a time to keep getting the onion tank empty. So there you go. 
So that is what a septic tank and soak away look like. That's what they are. And so there's various types of septic tanks. I mean, I've just got an onion one here for argument's sake. Yesterday I did a, a broadcast entitled The Evolution of Septic Tanks. So septic tanks have changed a lot now. If you remember in the video that I've just shown you, they are low profile now. So they're like what I call shallow dig septic tanks. So let me just give you an example on my shop of how septic tanks have changed for the better. All right, so let me just get my little messenger thing down there. So they're called the bullet style septic tanks, okay? And they're fantastic, they really are. So let me just go here. All right, so the bullet septic tank. So this is typically what they look like. If you go to my site, you'll see, um, I've done a video there showing you a bit more. Thanks to its low profile, shallow dig design, this amazing septic tank will just take you under an hour to get in the ground with a mini digger. It's no wonder this is the UK's most popular selling septic tank today. All right, so you've got a video and there's quite a bit more information on there showing you how easy they are to install. So this is a typical um, one to two bedroom one. They're only 599 and you don't need any concreting with them. You just literally backfill with um, shingle. Just take you an hour, if that, to dig the hole. Just backfill with shingle and then cover with topsoil. Job done. It really is that easy to do. Um, I've based them on the number of bedrooms. So you'll notice there you've got one to two bedrooms, three to four bedrooms and five to eight bedrooms. If you're wondering what this tank is here, this is called the Cube Septic Tank. This is an amazing septic tank as well. It's designed for mobile homes, for stable blocks, for farms, for glamping, for caravans, for shepherd huts, for tents, workshops, annexes, etc. And uh, yeah, it's a fantastic little tank. Uh, that's what it's looking like. That's what it looks like. And um, yeah, so again, that's a very, very popular tank. Regarding the soakaways on my shop there, I've tried to make it really simple. You've got your tanks, you've got your soak away kit, and you've got your treatment plants. Treatment plants is um, a discussion for another day, but just if you click on soak away kits there, you'll notice that um, you've got a difference between septic tank crates and um, easy drain. Uh, I've already shown you the easy drain, the septic tank crates. Uh, the different than rainwater crates, don't confuse them with rainwater crates because they're not rainwater crates, okay? But um, they're fantastic as well. They're designed for um, for small spaces, designed to go under driveways. If you've got, if got a driveway, the bearing load on um, on these crates is something like flipping egg, 60 ton. So you can drive, you can <laughs> literally drive a tank over these things. So again, they're really easy to install. Literally just dig a small hole, put the membrane in the hole, put the crates in, cover the crates with the membrane and with topsoil and job done. It's as simple as that. And um, yeah, so you've got um, different types of soakaways there. Um, you'll notice I don't really plug or sell the herringbone type uh, soakaway systems because um, these are a lot easier to install and they're a lot cheaper and they last a lot longer and they're a lot less trouble free in my mind. So, um, excuse me. <coughs> oh, yeah. Got a lot of uh, rapeseed out at the, <coughs> excuse me, uh, out at the moment. I think I get hay fever from the pollen. So, so yeah. If, so if you're looking for some, um, if uh, some septic tanks or soakaways, literally just go to septictank.co.uk. That's my shop part of it. Um, but, uh, yeah, you'll find all, loads and loads of videos on there. If you're looking for um, tanks and soakaway kits, as I said, septictank.co.uk, that's the place to go. One last thing before I end the broadcast now is if you'd like more free information, tons more free videos, then just click on septictank.co.uk there. And you'll see um, all my live broadcasts. They go on broadcasting live now on YouTube. But I every month, every week, every day, I do tons and tons and tons and tons of live videos to help people. So there's some of the 
ones that have done some are on site some are off site um i don't know what that particular one is oh it really scared me that one it was like some weirdos hiding in the wood <laughs> and uh i really feared for my life on that one but but look if you want to see me live just um click on there i also do lots of uh, live stuff on twitter um and facebook if you want to go uh, my facebook account is if you want to see more stuff on facebook then just go to i think it's facebook.com forward slash www.septictank.co.uk and i've got a shop on there as well but it's the post that i was actually trying to direct you to now so there we go look actually live on facebook i think facebook actually works a couple of seconds behind so there's no kind of there's a bit of a lag on there and um and so yeah there you go so thank you very very much for uh, watching my live broadcast today um if you need any free help as i said go to septictank.co.uk tomorrow i'm doing a live broadcast where you can actually um ask me questions so i'm going to do a live q a oh sorry i'm just trying to oh yeah i'm just saying from my facebook site as well i don't know what's happened there but um from on my facebook site as well you can actually get to uh now, why is it doing that? Is that because it's caching friendly? Oh, yeah, there you go. So that's back to normal. Oh, and just one more point I thought I'd make while I'm on here. If you've got a septic tank and you're worried about all the uh, legislation uh, regarding septic tanks, the septic tank ban, then I recommend you click on this um, advert here. There's no, I don't want your money. There's nothing to... Uh, to buy i'm not selling anything but if you've got a septic tank then i strongly recommend you click this because see that form there get yourself a free government compliance form if you scroll to the bottom of the video here you'll see that you can put your name and your email address into there and i'll send you a free government compliance form that will make your septic tank legal uh, before the septic tank uh, ban comes into force on on the 1st of Jan 2020. It's called the septic tank ban because certain septic tanks will be decommissioned or banned. People will be stopped from using them. But um, it doesn't mean that every septic tank up and down the country is going to be banned. So I thought I'd just explain that in case you're worried that septic tanks are going to be banned up and down the country. No, they're not. The majority of them are going to be fine. Um, there's certain rules and regulations you've got to adhere to, but the majority of them will be fine. But as I said, if you've got a, a septic tank, every septic tank owner does need a government compliance form. I normally charge money for them. But as I said, in this instance, I'm actually giving them away for free. So, so listen, thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch my live broadcast today. Um, and that's it. That's the end of another working day. I'll be back tomorrow. And, um, yeah, I'll be doing a live Q&A tomorrow. So, listen, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching and take care. Have a great evening.